Back here to Midday Kentucky, we're now joined by Dr. Ryan Stanton, emergency physician. We got to talk about it. What is a head transplant? We've been hearing about Tell this more. all morning. Tell us more. Uh, what's all this buzz about? Well, I think the biggest part of this buzz is probably more than anything clickbait. Um, oh, okay. The, okay. So this actually started to come out in 2015, and they thought maybe that it was something that had to do with even a promo for a video game. Okay. Um, <laughs> but what this is, is it's, look at me right in the eyes right now. It's, it's not going to happen. There is no head transplant coming <gasps> in the near future. Oh, there's, this uh, there's dozens and dozens of reasons this is not going to happen. One, the first idea that you can get that is going to be potential is when we no longer have paraplegics and quadriplegics because we've okay. figured out how to regenerate the spine. And oh, we have not okay. figured out how to do that yet. We are now getting to where we can do some of the peripheral nerves, but we can't do the spinal cord at this point. Also, the immune system of the human body is incredibly intense. We're talking about the fact that not just building an immune response, where they're talking about finding a matching donor, we're talking about the ability you have to actually wash out all of the immunity that's already in there, basically stripping it down to its core components just to get it to where you're not going to have a significant, immediate, deadly reaction. So we're talking about skin, nerves, vessels, fat, muscle, bone, all of that stuff is going to react. And so the fact that you're talking about this, I mean, if they're talking about the potential of somebody with a neurodegenerative disorder, I think we're more likely to get a cure for that neurodegenerative disorder and reverse that than we are to actually get a transplant. Now, hmm. Doc, what are some of the transplants that are, people are more accustomed to that we can expect? Yeah. So you're going to see all kinds of, of transplants. I mean, we, of course, we see the heart, the kidneys, uh, the lungs, the liver, pancreas. Kidneys probably the most common, especially right. we're going to see that more often now with diabetes, hypertension in our communities, especially here in Kentucky, corneas, things like that. And some of those are easier because we can narrow them down, wash them out, and target those immune systems. Um, and even some of them, like corneas and, and some of the others, um, they actually even wash out all the cells to where wow. we're just basically using it as a structure. And so there's a lot to be, there's a lot we can learn and that we can use from that and the technology. And so I think one day it could happen. Right. But I don't think we're eight months away. I think we're probably more... 20, 30, 40 years away. Um, so we're farther away than we are close. And right now you think that research is really around spinal cord? I think the research okay. now is just figuring out how do we make those millions and millions okay. of nerves right. reconnect to actually do what the brain is saying to do. And it's not just the functions that we do now. We're picking up, grisp, grasp, uh, grasping, um, receiving things like that. But we're talking about things like the brain's telling the mm -hmm. response to the heart when the diaphragm is going to work, things like that. Um, how do you feel like these services are a key to our community? Your and show on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, so so Saturday, we're going to have, we got a great show, so stay with us because Saturday, 7 a.m., right here, ABC 36. If you're in Louisville, uh, we got it on there, too, okay. on Saturday morning. Um, we're talking about several things. Community service folks, people that are providing health care to those in need, surgery on Sundays, the refuge clinic, two services that are filling in that health care gap. What we're finding now is we don't have as many people uninsured, but we have more people underinsured. Right. And so oh. those people are falling through the cracks, and these two groups are taking steps to take care of those folks from a surgical and medical standpoint. And then we also will feature court physical therapy who's providing some home uh, physical oh, yeah. therapy as well. They're great. Incredible services. So talk to us a little bit more about some of those specific services that you're going to highlight um, Saturday. Those people filling that gap. I like what you said. It's not just the people who are uninsured. They're underinsured. And that's what most people don't understand about the current system. We have this huge debate. Of course, it's been taking over the headlines last two weeks. Is, but us in healthcare, we understand that now we don't have uninsured. We have a huge gap of virtually uninsured because they have such huge premiums and huge things they can't actually cover it. And so the surgery on Sunday does surgeries for folks okay. to get them back to work. That's what they've right. told me. Their whole goal is to get people back to the workforce, being productive members of society, so they can give back to us mm -hmm. down the road. Wow. The refuge clinic, my wife actually works there, and we hope to get her here in the next couple of weeks to talk about some of that. And they're providing that care, the primary care services, to get, again, people back to work, make sure they're functioning. They have to have a, a job and, and many times now some form of insurance. But the whole goal is to make sure that they're able to do their jobs and provide for their families. And so that's really what we're focusing on. And I think it's something that down the road could really expand and really fix these gaps in our health care system. Well, I love that you're going to highlight yeah. this. Before we go, just give people the details one more time for the show Saturday. All right, details, Saturday. This is April 1st, April Fool's Day, but this is really, <laughs> this is really going to happen. 7 a.m. ABC 36. Um, afterwards, you can catch out the sh uh, show on our YouTube page, Stanton MD. It posts as soon as the show airs. Uh, follow us on the Facebook page, Stanton MD Everyday Medicine, Twitter at Everyday Med. Lots of information there. We want to keep you healthy, 
safe and uh, honestly my goal is to eventually work myself out of a job and keep All you right. out of being in front of me from the ER which I don't think is going to happen here because I think you're about to catch Whatever I know, Lisa, you not were us. like putting all this sanitizer yep. We're <laughs> sanitizer here. All right, we're we'll stay on top of that head transplant. Come back yeah, we'll for your it. updates. Okay.